Hey everyone, welcome to Broken Sword, the Angel of Death. Now this is a game I am super excited to be playing because I have never played it before. This is a completely blind playthrough. I know nothing about it except for there is a new woman and that's it, nothing else. Um, I think the controls are the same as the third game, so uh, I just gotta remember exactly how I played it before. Um, but yeah, let's check the options real quickly. I had a bit of, I had a bit of, I had a bit of it. I had a bit of an issue trying to get this game up because game capture on OBS would not like pick it up at all so I was just thinking what shall I do and eventually window capture has saved the day so that is a relief I'm real pleased about that so everything seems to be good let's have another check 1080 the languages Alrighty. Just press apply. And let's finally begin a brand new game of the fourth broken sword. I'm so excited for this. Let's begin. Apparently it's the weakest in the franchise, but I'll see for myself. Mount Horeb, the Sinai Mountains, 1338 BC. I did apply subtitles, didn't I? I hope I did. <laughs> okay. happening here? Is she the angel of death? Three years ago. Thanks be to God. We have found it. Hmm. I like that. Oh, it's New York. Nice. Ooh, feel like I'm watching a movie. <laughs> I've been thinking of doing those um, like movie reactions. If you think that's a good idea, let me know what movies you'd like to watch. Is that George Stobart? So, uh, who's oh, that? good subtitles. I know, boss. I guess he works there. You think he's packing? Ah, guy rides a desk. Everyone in position. Uh-huh. Don't screw this up, Tony. Hey, Bad trust guys. me, boss. <laughs> hey, you know I do. Okay, boys. It's playtime. Oh, boy. It's already kicking off. <laughs> I'm just looking for the volume. I'm, I'll have to turn it up after. What I'm, happened to the pizza? After this is done. Oh, sorry, Virgil. Pizza's off till we pay Mort that twenty bucks we owe him. I like the new <laughs> look, George. <laughs> hey, something smells nice. Hey, you got a visitor. Business? I sure hope so. <laughs> hmm. Hmm. It's a bit, um, running a bit, uh, oh, skippy, isn't it? Uh, hi. Can I help you? Mr. Starbard? Uh, that's me. Thank God. I thought you'd never get here. This must be the new woman. <laughs> it's that kind of neighborhood. Please, Mr. Starbard, I need your help. Oh, you want a bail bond? Oh, no. Not a bail bond. You see, there are some men. They're after me. They want to kill me. 
Well, if they find me here, they'll probably want to kill you too. It's always the likely case. I have a manuscript, <laughs> you see, and whoa, 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 whoa! Look, Miss Anna Maria. Anna, Anna Maria. Maria. Yes, this is a bail bond agent. Nice name. I'm a lawyer, and you need the police. But there isn't time. Lady, I like that he's still working as a lawyer. There is huh. always time. Uh oh. It's not running very smoothly, or is it just? Nah, it's probably just the game itself then. Are those the guys that? Yes, and if we don't get out of here. Oh God! You're just gonna make us jump into it? Okay. <laughs> All right, uh, just going to turn up the volume just a bit. All right. Whoops. Yeah, let's make a save. <laughs> uh, resume. I'm going to assume everything is all the same. Oh, God. Yes, a little bit. Ah, um... uh, 100 watts of top quality audio heaven. Beats paying the rent any day. Is this the way out? Yeah. Oh, we have to click it. I'm stuck. I need some kind of tool to get it open. You've got to be kidding me. Ooh, this is all very weird. Okay. I think they changed how you run. Um, oh jeez, um, Ayanna, Anna Maria, was that, was that your name? Should we play some music? Please, Mr. Stobart, we need to get out of here. What do you think I'm trying to do? I never did use the safe. Nothing worth putting in it. Oh god, we are so screwed. It's too late to call the cops. We have to get out of here, and fast. Nope, the padlock's never gonna break. But the bracket doesn't look up to much. Okay, break it then. No way am I gonna be able to wrench it open. Okay, I'm gonna have to look up the controls, because I think they've changed them. Okay. Mouse wheel run. Move away, move towards, move left, move right, and run. Is that... is that all there is? Is there nothing else? Oh god. What are we gonna do? Oh my god, it's right there. Are you serious? My trusty telescopic nine iron. We're so dead. <laughs> no way am I gonna be able to wrench it open. Yes you can, use it. Oh my god. Why did they not? There should have been like a tutorial for this to like tell you. But the, inv the inventory, you just had to move your Aren't mouse you above. Aren't supposed to be good at this sort of thing? No, not anymore. I gave it up. Tell that to them. Yeah, right. So what do we do now? I'm working on it. Well, this was a um, rough start. <laughs> okay. Uh... Oh, God. Oh god. Not a good start, I'm not gonna lie. There we go. They should have kept the controls the same as the third game, if I'm honest with you. I don't know why they've changed the controls. Can we get out through here? I don't know. You wanna go back down? Are you crazy? <laughs> exactly. Well, I don't think we're gonna have it to ourselves for long. What did you do to those guys? I have a manuscript. They want it. Let me guess. It ain't poetry. It contains the secret location of a priceless treasure. Oh. Oh, terrific. I should have known. It's been in my family for years. I started to decode it, drew too much attention to myself, and now this. 
Well, thanks for asking me along. Really appreciate it. So where are we? I don't know. I've never been up here before. That's the elevator. Weird. I wonder who could be... Are you crazy? The bad guys, that's who. I can't hold this forever, George. Uh, maybe we can use that on the... <sighs> this is a nightmare. Lucky the old Stobart Club has a locking device. Thanks. That was a good idea. Yeah. Clever, huh? Hmm. <laughs> now let's get out of here. Hmm. I could see if Revolution... Hey, Silvio! Help me get this door open! Uh-oh. I don't think this is such a great idea. There must oh, be another dear. way out. Let's hope so. <sighs> well, what's this? This thing isn't coming off in a hurry. PDA bail bond ID? That's not quite right. I'll never pull this off by myself. We'll get her to help you hey, out. Give me a hand with this grill. Sure. Hey. Okay. Ah, nice. Okay. Nope. Oh god. I don't like this at all. Okay, how do I stop? There we go. Now let's get out through here. Come on, we can get out this way. Hmm. <sighs> there they are. Well, I had gotten used to, um... The Broken Sword free controls, so now I've got to get used to the fourth game controls. Hmm. Stressful. But so far, we're doing okay. We're doing alright. Usually I just give up on these sort of things. I'm just like, no, I can't. I can't do this no more. But I love Broken Sword. I don't want to give up on it. So we're gonna carry on with it. What is she doing? She's not even coming along. Hey! Never mind, I'm sure she's fine on her own. Hmm. That totally looks safe. Okay, I see a grill thing there. Let me just check. Uh, let's give it a save. George meets new client. No, I don't want to do that. Okay, yeah, we definitely will not be able to make that. The chain's hooked to the top of the loading joist. Quite a length of chain. Okay. I don't know where she is. She's not even come down. Wait, George, what are you doing? Damn, I can't quite reach it. Thought we would like going down in that. I hope that the game is meant to be running like this. If not, then sorry. It's very odd right now. Okay, what do we need this for? Let 
We can't it's move. Firmly attached to the roof. PDA. Huh? That's cool. Notes. want to see if there's anything. Got a phone, bail bonds, connect. Well that's cool. I like how he's got that. It's not gonna move. It's bolted firmly to the roof. Alright. Oh god Jesus Christ you scared the hell out of me. you oh there's a ladder up there right can we speak to this her better be worth it it will be Jesus she's standing right there oh I can't see properly that's the thing okay I'm clicking on it but he's not grabbing it You can see my mouse and everything, but he's just not... He won't climb the ladder. What the hell do we do? So we didn't even need to like rush or anything. Still trying to get in. Anna Marie is safe on the roof for now. There must be something else I can use. Take it. Anna Marie is safe on the roof for now. There must be something else I can use. Take the. Take it. Anna Marie is safe on the roof for now. There must be something else I can use. Okay. Ah, the golf club should hold up for now. Doesn't need me to. <sighs> I may or may not have to be looking up a walkthrough because um, I get completely stuck and I'm just like, how do I control this, what I'm doing? That's what I need the walkthrough for because um, the controls. I had to do that the first time with um, Sleeping Dragon. At the beginning, I was like, "Okay, how do I do this?" Okay. That stop anyone from calling the elevator. So now we can take the golf club. God knows what we need to use that for. Hmm. Let me, um, let me try something here. Screen resolution. See if we can turn that up a bit. That might just stop it from, like, jittering and that. Hmm, well the music stopped. <laughs> it's how long it's taken me. It's like, ah, you don't get what you're doing, do you? Well, we're not going to tell you. <laughs> okay, what do we need the golf club for? Let's see. Hmm, seems to be a little less, um, laggy. It should be fine. What if I turn it up just a bit more? Put it all the way. 
and resume. Okay, that seems to be good. Chain's just too far to reach. Golf club, maybe? No, what are you doing? Oh! <gasps> I was like, what is he gonna do? <gasps> oh, wow. Hang ah. on, Maria. I'll find a way to get you across. <laughs> That's what we had to do. Okay. It's less uh, less laggy now, so that's good. I don't like the camera controls. Oh gosh, what's that? Ah, nice, very nice. Now she can hopefully jump across. Okay, Anna Maria, you can cross the alley on the joists. What? <laughs> I just George. imagine that. Now let's make sure they can't follow us. Nice one. Okay, Anna Maria, you can do this. Just what? what <laughs> Won't hold them off for long. Uh, goodness gracious me. You know what? I think we might just make it. So I underestimated you. A lot of people make that mistake. So, are you for hire? Depends on the deal. Ten thousand up front. Ten thousand when you decode the manuscript. I'm for hire. Uh, <laughs> just one question. Why me? Yeah, why me? The manuscript is covered in medieval symbols, and you do medieval, don't you? Yes. Sure, I do medieval. I even do medieval under fire. You won't regret it, Mr. Stover. Please, call me George. Okay. Okay, George. Mm -hmm. But tell me, how are we going to get out of here? Trust me, we'll find a way. Hmm. Yes, less um less laggy now. What's that? Can we jump across? Ugh, that's a no. No. Can we not jump across? Hmm. Just do a quick save. Yes. Hmm. Can we speak to her, maybe? Should we discuss our next move? Escape to safety, that's next. You are so helpful. Not sure if I like Anna Maria yet. Ah, there we go. <laughs> You know it. Hang on. I'll find a way to get back to you. <gasps> what the heck? You came up this way. I hope there's no quick time events. Hmm. Oh god. Can we jump it? Hey, there we go. Hmm. I was so used to the keyboard controls as well. I wish I kept it the same. This would have been a lot easier. I mean, you could jump across the, the door area. 
Oh god, that looks really thin. Being quite critical with this game at the minute, I apologise. I'm trying to enjoy it at the moment. So far it's a bit difficult. But I will continue playing. Hmm, a sliding bolt. That's gonna be useless. Oh, what's that? A string. Bye! <laughs> right approach. Right. Hmm, a sliding bolt. Let me see. Doors bolted. No wonder it won't open. Oh. <laughs> we have to do that? Okay, you can get across now. Really? Thanks. That was a good idea. Not really. <gasps> that kind of hurt my arm. <laughs> so now what do we do? Maybe we can both down this door together. There's no point. The door's blocked by something. Hmm. All right. You have nice hair. I was speaking to George, by the way. <laughs> okay. Well, it did have um. Switch. Not switches. What am I talking about? Um. Oh, it was this thing. Ah, I see. And then it will just the turn it off. Just won't stay in one position. Use the string or must have given it a hell of a wallop. Golf club maybe? That's not the right approach. Right. Using that won't work. Hmm, maybe I can ask Anna to hold it hold for me. Hold this breaker switch for me, would you? Sure. And don't let go. Thank you very much. Oops, what are we doing? God, if this was me, the guys would have called me by now. <laughs> I would have been like, no, I wish I had more time. <laughs> okay. Okay. Now let's see if we can get this Jam open. shut. The wood's swollen and won't budge. Maybe use the golf club? <laughs> I am not going to do that. Okay. Well, at least we're on this side now. Ah, that's what was blocking the way. Okay. Boom. There we go. So now we can get that open. And now she can... Oh, she's right there. Now let's get out of here. Okay. Wait, what's that? Oh, I guess it's just to like show that that's who we're with. Oops. Okay.
then maybe we can use the string on it. No, can't use that. No. Ask her to do it. Hold the handle, would you? If you really want me to. Just do it. <laughs> Okay. Come on, Anna Marie, I can't hold it for long. I'm with you, George. Okay, now we've escaped. Now. Brooklyn, my hotel. Ooh. The manuscript is in a safe in my room. Uh, any ideas how we get there? Taxi? Come on. That's amazing. <laughs> First taxi I ever saw stop in this neighborhood. Hmm. <laughs> This is bad, Tony. This is merely a screw-up. No way is this a screw-up. Yeah, maybe you're right. I found her bag. At least now we know where she's staying. God damn it. You dumbass. We already know where she's staying. We do? Oh, yeah. Uh, it's a screw-up, all right. How did she leave her bag? We had plenty of time trying to get out of there and that. And she leaves her bag. George, look. I know. It's a crime against interior design. No, the guy by the desk, he's one of them. Oh. Okay, Nico, here's how we play it. <laughs> what? Uh, Anna Maria, sorry. Uh, here's how we do it. I think you find your room. Then you sneak around the back and I let you in. God Only damn one problem. It. My key was in my bag. So? I lost my bag. Ah, well, uh, don't worry. Oh, I'll figure great. out a way. Trust me. I do, with my life. Hey, we can go that far. So, uh, what's your room number? Twenty-three, second floor. Right. I'll get in there somehow. Okay, Nico. I'll be in the alley. Good luck. You got my cell number? Yeah. Don't worry. What happened to her face then? Use your phone, buddy. Oh my god. <sighs> well, that's the sound for the fan. That's cool. Excuse me, I was wondering if you could help me. Maybe. Maybe not. Are you the receptionist? I'm the manager. Name's Alfonso. You could call me Mr. Alfonso. Well, where's the receptionist? He went AWOL. Good for nothing, lazy broad. <laughs> Okay. So, you've been running this place long? It's been in my family for generations. You must be very proud. You seem a little stressed. Wouldn't you be if your receptionist just up and left? Look on the bright side. You got a shortcut to the quiet life right there in your hand. <laughs> I thought that smoking was banned in public places in New York. You got a problem with me smoking, you leave. Leave? I love this place. <laughs> okay. Who's the guy who just left? Is he a guest? No, oh, he just came in to use my phone. Normally, I don't let people come in off the street and use the facilities, but uh, he's got a nice face. What a surprisingly sweet, sentimental man you are. What? <laughs> Golf club book hotel room? Excuse me, Mr. Alfonso. Can you spare a moment? What do you think this is, a hotel? Oh, don't worry. I'd never make Duh. that mistake. Book hotel room. I'm looking for a room for one night. Maybe something with a view? We're full. Take this flyer. Book ahead next time. What a hotel. So busy and yet so charmingly quiet. <sighs> a triumph. Okay. It's the flyer for the lousy New York hotel. On the top is the hotel number. I guess it could be useful. Okay. And then I guess we use the PDA. Actually, um...
Hey, you need your room key card to open those doors. No key card, right. no getty in. <laughs> no getty in. Hmm. Cheesy pictures of local places I'd never want to visit. Could always speak to him. Excuse me. All right, all right. Take my money, but don't hurt me. I was just wondering if I could ask you a couple of questions. Oh, oh, I, I see. I thought you were one of those awful gangster rappers. Or dressed like this? Well, exactly. They don't dress well, do they? <laughs> Hotel key card. Do you have a key card to get past those security doors? I certainly do. It makes an excellent bookmark. Hmm. I seem to have misplaced mine. I don't suppose I could borrow yours? Sir, I do not know you from Adam. For all I know, you intend to enter this building under false pretenses. <laughs> I only want to get up to my room. Then you shall have to see that vile creature behind the counter. I have no desire to go to prison on your behalf. Especially as there appears to be such <sighs> a shortage of soap in those establishments. Ghost book. Is hmm. it a good read? Oh, it's a wonderful book full of magic and wonder. And, let me guess, geese? It's a scandal that it still hasn't graced the bestseller list. Oh, it's a crime, a literary crime. <laughs> Indeed. <laughs> Allow me to introduce myself. Thelwell Minster. George Stobart. What a pleasure to meet a fellow goose lover. <laughs> Gotta love them geese. Hmm. I also love them. Um, I love the goats too. <laughs> so what's a man that with such good wrong. taste doing in a joint like this? <laughs> when I checked the website, I the hotel that. was a luxury five-star affair. <laughs> it's clearly a sophisticated scam. Reference. A fraudulent attempt to draw <laughs> rich people to this area of the city. Bird. Where they will be caught <laughs> in a web of evil entrapment and licentiousness. Okay. So what brings you to New York? Cackling, Brent, Pinkfoot. Come again? Bean, Brent, and Barnacle? Uh, yeah. Geese, sir. Wild geese. Alsa, Alberfranz, Branter, Bernicla, the great ocean wanderers. I'm here to purchase some rare watercolors depicting geese. Paintings of geese, huh? I guess it beats stuffing them. <laughs> How fun, though. The hotel manager seems to have a chip on his shoulder. What's his problem? Oh, he's been in a foul temper ever since I arrived. But when his receptionist went missing a little while ago, he turned very nasty indeed. So, where's the receptionist gone? I have no idea. One minute she was there serving a dubious looking customer, then I believe she showed him upstairs to his room. Hmm. She hasn't been down since. I think someone's kidnapped her. Did you see the man who was here a minute ago? Big chap? Powerful, well-built, scary-looking? Uh, yeah, I guess yeah. that could be him. I don't suppose you know what he wanted. I think he was looking for his wife. Mistress, more like. It's been the busiest day since I arrived. A veritable fly-past of undesirables. If you don't mind me saying, you look a little nervous. The World Wide Web declared this place to be a boutique hotel gem, the like of which Philip Stark himself would be proud. Not your view, huh? No, sir. It is a rat-infested, urine-stained hellhole. <laughs> I fully expect I shall be mugged, held to ransom, or even... Even what? It doesn't bear thinking about. You don't have to say. So why don't you go somewhere else? I would. Sadly, the dealer from whom I am purchasing the paintings is indisposed. And he only has the number for this hotel to contact me. I simply cannot go home without my geese. Well, I guess that's the price you pay for art. Hmm. 
Uh, I don't think a golf club would have anything to do with it. Thelwell's reading a book called On the Wings of a Goose. Heck, I love goose. Who doesn't? But is it best with applesauce or cranberry sauce? <laughs> it's a tuck in. <laughs> Tucked in between the pages is a key card. Hmm. Hmm. It's weird using the mouse, not gonna lie. If I were to touch those faucets, I'd catch something pretty nasty. Fair enough. Oh my. Hmm. The only way I can think of distracting him is, um... <laughs> nice. Alfonso's hotel? What do you want? Hi there, I was wondering if you could help me. Yeah. I was wondering if I could speak to a Thelwell Minster? Yeah, sure. Let me put a call out over the tannoy. Hey, Thelwell, there's a call for you here. There we go, he's put his book down. Books of no interest, but I'll borrow the key card. As you do. Can you believe it? I'm even getting crank calls here. You of all people. The second my friend calls, I should be out of here too sweet. The tutor the sweeter, I bet. He's gonna notice that the key card's missing. I'm gonna skedaddle. <laughs> The security door needs a key card. You have one. Use it. <laughs> the security I'm not door needs do a that. key card. Beg your pardon, George. You are going to use it. There we go. Oh God. <laughs> um, I think you saw like a option where you can run with the mouse wheel. Let's give it a go and see. Oh, oh no 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 no. I don't want to go out. Oh I see how you do it. Oh that's cool. I was never much good at electronics. Hmm. Well, that's less straining now. Makes things easier. Ah, very nice. Okay, now I'm in. Perfect. Uh, oh, hello. George, it's me. Hello. Okay. I'm trapped on the fire escape. They've got guys all over the place. They haven't seen me yet, but it's only a matter of time. George, you must get into my room and open the bathroom window. Okay, just hold on and, and I don't know, look invisible. <laughs> invisible? Standing on a fire escape? Okay, okay, I'm on to it. I don't want cruised. to cross the barrier for fear of my health. Hmm. Old Uncle Stobart was a bug buster. The chemicals he used sent him over the edge. Of course, at the time, we just put it down to the booze. <laughs> but when we cremated him, the toxic cloud shut down half the city. Huh? What's that? I really hate doing stuff like this, but it could be useful. Is that... Oh, it's a dead bug. That's gross. That's so gross. It's 
that just an elevator? Oh, that was a waste. Huh? Eh? A strange noise coming from the cleaning <gasps> closet. Who's that? Hey, there's nothing in there that concerns you. But what's that banging inside? Beetles. The whole place is riddled with them. Beetles? Just what the heck are they feeding on? <laughs> uh, what room did she say? Room 24. The sign on the door says, do not disturb. Right. From the state of this place, I doubt there's a cleaner to walk in on anyone. <laughs> the flowers are completely dry. Alfonso sure knows how to treat a plant. From tea tree to tinder in one easy lesson. <gasps> the hell was he doing then? Flowers feel dry and dusty. All right. Room 21. This hotel stinks. What the These rooms should be charged what is by the he hour. Doing? On second thoughts, maybe they are. I have a feeling the room next to him is um Anna's room. Room 23. Yeah. Anna Maria's room. The door's open. It must have been forced. Hmm. They're already in there. What's the number on the hotel key card I've got? It's the key card I stole from Thelwell. Okay, but which one? Oh. This one? Amazing. Even in a place like this, there are still some security measures. The door's locked. Whatever's behind there has to be a health hazard. Hmm. I'm not going to open the door when it's clear they want privacy. Maybe they are renting the room by the hour. <laughs> okay. That's not the right approach. All right. I think we already checked this room, didn't we? The door's locked. And in this hell hole, I'd be doing the same. <laughs> Even in this rundown joint, you gotta have the right key. Right. Uh -huh. Do we really want to speak to this maniac? Hey there. Can I help you, mister? I'm looking for room 23. It's out of bounds. Why? Are you staying in room 23? No. Are you? I could get myself in trouble here. No, I'm just looking for a friend. Well, you're looking in the wrong place. Beat it. Thank you very much. Welcome to the Heartbreak Hotel. For huh? God's sake. <laughs> oh, I thought he was impersonating Elvis. Okay, new save. Yeah. Okay, what the heck do we do here? Hey, buddy. Leave the window alone or I'll throw you through it. I need some fresh air. Oh, yeah? Well, go walk in the road. You don't own this hotel. Do you think you are? <laughs> All right. What the heck do I do now? Mr. Alfonso, can you spare a moment? If you make it quick. Security doors, man lingering upstairs. Who's the shifty-looking guy upstairs? You talking about one of my guests? Looks like Elvis. <laughs> Maybe he is. A lot of celebrities stay here. Who's the shifty looking guy upstairs? We just spoke about him. From your description, uh, probably a guest. So, what's with the nervous guy? I uh, drove him from Virginia. Had the nerve to say our website was all lies. I wouldn't mind, but we don't even have a website. Hmm. He seems a little nervous. Been here two days, waiting on a phone call. Says it's too dangerous to go outside. 
<laughs> With you on reception, I'd take my chances outside any day. <laughs> so, what's with the security doors? This city is rough and unforgiving. Hmm, a bit like your face. <laughs> now, now, George, no need to be sassy. So, what's with the fumigation work going on upstairs? Deathwatch Beetle. Whole buildings infested with them. Eating up my livelihood from the top down. Not good. So, apart from eating every scrap of wood, what harm do they do? They fall in your food, they climb in your hair, they live in your bed, and they are impossible to kill. Jeez, and Anna Maria's been in that hotel? Jesus. That grandfather clock is beautiful. Hmm. Ain't it though? Worth the fortune. Next year I'm trading it in for a condo in Florida. Interesting. Uh, well, hang on, it eats wood, Alfonso doesn't it? Alfonso won't be happy. Uh, oh dear. Mr. Alfonso, can you spare a moment? If you make it quick. It could be my eyes, but is that something moving on your clock? It's the hands, pal. It's called <laughs> time. Can't you see it? Oh, let it not be. <laughs> what? A death watch beetle. <laughs> no, not my precious clock. Can I not get in? The lighter is behind no the glass here. partition. Shit. There is a beetle there. What? The lighter is behind the glass partition. Mr. Alfonso, can you spare a moment? If you make it quick. I know it could be my eyes, but I swear I just <sighs> saw a death watch beetle running along the top of your clock. Don't joke with me, mister. Oh, I wouldn't joke about your precious. Huh? No! <laughs> Maybe we had to open that. If you don't stop messing with my window, I'm gonna start messing with yours. Sorry about that. <laughs> okay, what do we need that for, I wonder? God, I'm gonna be doing a lot of cutting out because this is crazy. <laughs> the way he goes upstairs is great. Okay. So we need to do something with that lighter. I guess. Hey! What are you doing with those flowers? I'm a botanist, and these are really quite unusual. What? Feed it! Alright. Maybe open this when he's not looking. Come on, dance. Oh. Do it quickly, quickly, quickly. And then I think you set it on fire. There we go. <gasps> oh my god! We just committed arson again. <laughs> oh no! My suit! My hair! My suit! <laughs> 
my suit, my hair, my suit. <laughs> that makes sense. Okay. Oh gosh. Yeah, that stuff is ruined. Can we shut this? I guess not. What's that? Hmm. A cigar stub. Cuban. Hmm. Fancy. Oh no. The safe's been cleaned out. They've taken Anna Maria's manuscript. Damn. Have they? Totally empty. Apart from the dust. Hmm. Not good. Oh, what's that? Hmm. It's a pen with the logo of a black cat embossed on it. Okay. What do we need to get? Nothing in here. On or off, I am not going to stick my hands in there. It's a weapon of mass extraction. But somehow I need to move it to let Anna Maria in. Really, there's a button? fan shudders when it slows down. I bet this room's got sake. the highest mortality rate in the city. <laughs> oh my god. Okay, now the it should work. The string's still dangling from the grill. Do I really want to take the string? Uh... No. <laughs> if you remember what happened in 2.5. <laughs> um, yeah. Okay. Okay, that should work. Hmm. That works. Hmm. Okay. Anna Maria, over here. Hmm. Oh, I would have <laughs> I would have laughed if she did that, but she hit her head on the window. George, what took you so long? I was having so much fun I just lost track of time. Next time you the get the puzzles were hard, seat. okay? Oh yeah, well maybe next time I'll charge double. Now how do we get out of here? The alley's full of bad guys. And there's some even badder guys out there. So what about the safe? Oh everything's God. gone. What's happened here? The whole place has been turned over. And the manuscript, <laughs> it's gone. Gone. I'm sorry, Anna Maria, but we'll figure out what to do, I promise. Oh, George, it just means so much to me. I know, I know. My family, we're not rich. You see, the treasure, I think I've built it up so much. Now look. You tell me everything you can remember about the manuscript, and maybe I can help. Okay, I'll try. The manuscript. Well, it's on old parchment. Hmm. And, and there's writing, Latin writing. Uh-huh. So it's old, with Latin writing on it. If well, it's Templar sure manuscript, down. I swear to God. If you're going to be like that, I'm not going to tell you. <laughs> well, give me a break, will you? What else was on it? There must have been something. Pictures. Beautiful pictures. Can you remember any? One. There's one. Oh, it's so beautiful, George. Hmm. A crusader on horseback, fighting a dragon, everything red and gold. Hmm. Still not a lot to go on. You don't believe me, do you? You think I'm just making it up? Never of said that. Of course I believe you. I just don't think I can help you till we find the manuscript. Maybe the guys who took it left clues. Exactly. And all we have to do is find them. Easy. Hey, that's my line. Well, you better get used to sharing. 
That's better. <laughs> Just don't worry, Anna Maria. I am going to get your manuscript back. I promise. Okay. Um, what can we do then? Hey, get away from there. I'm only looking for some bleach for my bathroom. Well, go look someplace else. Anybody ever tell you you have wonderful people skills? Right. Simple numeric keypad by the cleaner's closet. Someone must think that the cleaning materials are worth stealing. I think the um the receptionist is um Pen in is that great, door. But they're gonna need paper as well. Maybe who's ever in there can write out the code. I can hear shuffling noises. The Elvis guy, he's still. Um, and there's the pen and the flyer. Just gonna save. <laughs> you never know. Yeah, the there's Elvis a number would still be guarded. Five eight three seven X. Five eight three seven X. The number scribbled on the flyer is my best bet. Here goes nothing. Ah, it, that would be the receptionist. Okay? I am now. Thank you. Um... Hey, call me George. What happened? One minute. But I'm looking the for some cleaning. Elvis guy's Next watching thing I know, us, I'm right? I'm being bundled in here, and it all goes dark. Did you get a good look at the guy who did it? It sounds crazy, but you yeah. look just like Elvis. Uh huh. Go on. He's he still there. Had a tattoo. Yeah. A tattoo of a snake wrapped around in a mess. He's watching us. Oh, me. That's him. You won't <laughs> get away this time, punk. <laughs> Easy. Okay, Anna Maria. The Keep knocking are gone, the microphone. The cops will be here soon. We better get out of here. But where are we going to go? To see a friend about your manuscript. <gasps> Is it Nico? Please let it be Nico. No, it's this guy. Hey, glad you could stop by, George. <sighs> if you see anything that hasn't been smashed, help yourself. Finish the place off, huh? Better still torch it. Raise it to the ground. Virgil, you're upset. I can see that. That's why I went into business with you, partner. That amazing detective brain. We got insurance, don't we? You let it lapse, remember? <sighs> ah. Uh, so, uh, what's with the gizmo? This, this is my MP3 player, man. What's left of it? The greatest soul and R&B collection ever. Smashed. Destroyed. By your pals. How am I gonna work without the sounds of Maggie J. Blind, huh? How am I gonna sleep without the greatest hits of Barry Brown, the hippo of love? How am I gonna sing in my shower without my dose of Malteser? These are rhetorical questions, I guess, right, Virgil? They're burning and forthright questions, man! I can buy you another! No! You can't. Last shipment came into the city, somebody stole them all. Could be months before the next one. I could have been killed, and all Virgil does is whine about his player. <laughs> I have a manuscript to get back. Okay. Hmm. Let's see. How long have I been recording for? Hmm, I'm going a little bit longer. Virgil, please! 40 gig of music, George. 40 gig! That's four weeks non-stop listening! Now all I got is the Country Classic channel on your radio. <laughs> the Country Classics is great. Thin ice, George. Thin ice. <laughs> if it's Patsy Klein, I agree with you. What 
are you doing? Hmm. This has all been destroyed. <sighs> oh, what's that? Hey, Anna Maria. Cigarettes. Are these your cigarettes? No. Why? Hmm. Somebody dropped a pack here. I'll take it's them anyway. Probably them. May just provide a lead. Yeah. Okay. Just speak to her and see. Anna Maria, can you spare a moment? What do you need, George? N nothing, apparently. Uh, don't think Where there's anything else. Ah, oh, nice. Nice. I like this. Hotel Alfonso. And bail bonds. Huh, we went a long way. Blimey. Anna Maria, you better stay here. You'll be safe with Virgil. I guess. <laughs> and then this ah. guy slipped a pen and paper under the door. He looked like him. <laughs> well, if it ain't the hero, save the day. Oh, I don't know about save the day, but hey, I'm happy with hero. Listen to me, Sonny. I don't like heroes, which means I don't like you. So next time, leave it to the professionals. I'll remember that. Next time. <laughs> okay. Maybe Excuse we could me. show... Ah, yes, our very own superhero. I'm Officer O'Halloran, and you are... George Stobart. Two B's, two T's. <laughs> two B's, two T's, got it. So, what do you want, Mr. Two B's, Two T's? <laughs> two B's, Two T's. The guy who locked up the receptionist. You got any idea who he was? Hmm, medium height, dark hair and a quiff. Looked a bit like Elvis. Could have been anybody. Did you see any distinguishing marks? Well, there was his tattoo. You know... That guy's tattoo was very unusual. Surprised me. It was a snake with massive fangs wrapped around what looked like... Spit it out, man. Wrapped around... Well, a salami. <laughs> a salami, you say? Yes, a salami, I say. Well, that explains What a strange everything. tattoo. Oh, yes? Oh, yes, a salami means only one thing around here. And what's that? It means there's a deli open. What? Just kidding. <laughs> it means the Martino gang. Right. Wait till my boss hears this. Well, he knows the Martinos? Been after him for years. Hmm. Well, that helps. What did the men want here? Hmm. Looks like they were after something in one of the rooms. The safe was opened and empty. We're looking into it now. But I thought you said it was empty. One more wisecrack and you'll be taking a prison shower tonight. <laughs> Ouch. So what happens next? We put out an APB on the suspect. Then we investigate the illegal use of the fire alarm. Fire alarm? Uh, what happened? Some idiot, that's one D and one T, set off the fire alarm. Wantonly setting off a fire alarm in the city of New York carries a custodial sentence. Huh. What imbecile would do a thing like that? Yeah, who would do such a thing? Thanks for your help. Maybe if we... Italian cigarettes. Excuse me? Yeah. You ever seen this brand before? Where'd you get them? Oh, someone left them where I work at a bail bond agency. Yeah, figures. That's just the kind of place you'd find black market cigarettes. Black market? Hmm. That's right. Illegal. They're coming into the city by boat somehow. All courtesy of your friends, the Martinos. Hey, they're not my friends. <laughs> I believe you. The Martinos only have friends in high places. Interesting. Hello again. How you feeling? Oh, I'm much better now. Oh, thanks to you. I thought I was going to be in there for days. 
Good thinking with the pen and paper. <laughs> well, I try. My name is Juanita. Juanita. I'm George. You've got lovely hands, George. Such long fingers. You play the piano? <laughs> no, but I can play some pretty good licks on a ukulele. I'll <laughs> you okay. You got any idea what the guy was after? <laughs> he was looking for a lady. Said she was staying here. So how did he get past you? He knocked my nail varnish off the counter. He must have followed me when I went to get some cleaner, and then voila! Ouch. Hmm. Left quite a bum. You want to feel it? Oh, I'm good. That's okay. I, I can guess uh, what your bum feels like. <laughs> hmm. So did you catch the guy who locked you in the closet? I got one good kick in before he ran away. Don't <laughs> be sitting down in a hurry. Nice. I like this woman. Tell me something. Why do you work here? One day, Alfonso will choke on his last cigarette, and this place will be up for grabs. And guess who's going to be doing the grab? Hmm. That cut out. How do you work with that man? I've had worse jobs. Alfonso's okay. Just as long as you don't talk to him. Why would you want to do that? <laughs> Why is he so grumpy all the time? If you've been smoking for 30 years, wouldn't you be grumpy? Yep. <laughs> Thanks for your help. Okay. Is there anywhere we can go now? Oh, we didn't talk to Alfonso. Hello, Alfonso. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> so, did your clock survive all the commotion? Yeah. Never did find any beetles on it, though. Ain't that funny? They must have jumped ship when they saw you coming. <laughs> yeah, maybe. Or maybe they were never there. What do you think? I think that's an interesting hypothesis. <laughs> so, are you glad you got your oh, yeah. back? Where did that guy go? <laughs> Lazy, good for nothing. She's lucky she still got a job. But it wasn't her fault she was attacked. No. If I didn't have all this paperwork, she'd be out on her ear. She's <laughs> still book a hotel room. So what happened to Mr. Minster? Yeah. Uh, he panicked and ran off when it all blew up. Hmm. Didn't even pay. The freeloading son of a... Where did he go? Who knows? Zeke just kept shouting, The geese! The geese! Last I saw, he was heading for the city. Hmm. Thanks for your help. Interesting. I guess that's it then. Okay, wherever I'm going in the next destination, I think I'm gonna cut it there. And we'll try to. Where do I want to go next? Let's see. Hotel Alfonso. Pale bonds. No, there's more I want to do. Yeah. We maybe have to speak to the policeman again. Excuse me, Officer O'Halloran. Yes, Mr. Stobart. Ah. So the guy who was here is a member of the Martinos? Correct. And the cigarettes are being smuggled into the city by boat? Correct. So the Martinos have a hangout near the docks? Correct. I should play this more often. <laughs> they got no factory down on the East River. A legitimate business. Mama Martino's meatpacking company. So we can't touch him. Time for a stroll down to the docks, I think. Don't say that out loud, George. Thanks for your help. <laughs> okay, I think that's the next destination. Gotta keep pressing shift down to run. <laughs> Not used Where to this. Do I go next? There we go. Mama Martino's meatpacking. Interesting. I don't know how long I'm going to be in New York for, so this will be a good place to leave it because I think I've been doing this for like an hour and a half. Martino's Meatpacking Company. Mm -hmm. The manuscript could be somewhere inside. This did go from earlier. But I'm going to have to get in to find out for sure. Hey, you changed outfits. Nice. Yeah. 
All right, that's a good place to leave it. Um, yeah, new save. All right, well, that wasn't the smoothest playthrough. Um, I did have to get some help to get through that, but we will do better next time. Uh, it's a new game, so I am getting used to it. Um, it just is a shame revolution that you changed the controls if um if you kept it all the same it might have been better but um for now i'll get used to the controls anyway so you know we don't have to remember which buttons for the inventory and my other sort of stuff it's just using the mouse now which is complicated but i'll get used to it i'll get used to it and i'll get used to, i'll get used to like the characters and what's happening at the minute because um yeah, I'm intrigued about this manuscript and I'm intrigued about Anna Maria and everything else. I want to know more about her and why she's so important. So, uh, yeah, see you in the next playthrough, I guess. <laughs> okay, uh, see you next time. Bye-bye. <laughs>